The name aquamarine is derived from two Latin words, aqua, meaning water, and marina, meaning of the sea. Ancient Greeks and Romans believed that aquamarine originated from the treasure chest of mermaids. Easily available on all parts of the world, the gemstones were considered valuable owing to certain qualities attributed to them. Hence, these gemstones were used even in the ancient ages. However, going by the documented evidences available, we see that they were used by the Greeks in 300 BC. Brazil had the biggest aquamarine mine so far, which weighed 243 pounds. It was cut to make smaller stones, which yielded a record 2 lakh carats. The Romans believed that aquamarines could cure medical problems with the liver, stomach, and throat. Healers used it to reduce fluid retention and to calm the nerves. Aquamarines are specifically gifted to couples who celebrate their 16th and 19th wedding anniversary. It is believed that this gemstone helps to make the wearer calm, friendly and compassionate. It is considered the best gemstone to be set on an engagement ring. Aquamarine ranges in color from sea foam green, to blue green, to teal. The color is graded on its hue, tone, and saturation, hue for whether it is a warm or cool shade, tone for how light or dark the color is, and color saturation for the quality of being dull or a vivid blue. Aquamarine is the official stone of Colorado. The uses of aquamarine in jewelry are extensive. It makes lovely rings, pendants and earrings and looks stunning when set into sterling silver. Aquamarine also looks great when it's set in white gold because the cool white of the metal sets off the light blue color of the stone. The Dom Pedro Aquamarine is the world's largest cut aquamarine gem. It was cut from a crystal originally weighing approximately 100 pounds and measuring more than 3 feet in length. The stone was mined in the state of Minas Gerais in Brazil around 1980, and named after the Brazilian emperors Pedro I and Pedro II. The blue-green gemstone was cut by burned Munsteiner into an obelisk form weighing 10,363 carats. The finished dimensions measure 14 inches tall by 4 inches wide. The jewel was donated to the Smithsonian Institution by Jane Mitchell and Jeffrey Bland. It is housed in the National Museum of Natural History's Janet Annenberg Hooker Hall of Geology. I hope you enjoy watching this video. If you do, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe.